Hi everyone, we are back with more from Life is Strange Double Exposure. Right now we will speak with Ven about uh, um, this uh, car situation and we will also, uh, I guess, uh, see if he found his fault. So keep up with support with him, subscribe button, which is great, you appreciate it. Well, let's continue. Time to follow up with Vin about that windshield slip. Let's see if I can't make this canary sing. Yes, let's see what we can do, right? Oh. That's the fourth bottle I've seen our fearless leader open this afternoon. Is he trying to act all grief-stricken because his boss's kid died? He and Safi were in the same year in undergrad. Maybe they knew each other. So? Everyone knows Vin. <sighs> you know what's weird? I can't stop thinking about her. Safi, I mean. I never even talked to her. But what happened to her, it was fucked up. The death of a beautiful woman is unquestionably the most poetical topic in the world. Look. I know you had to do that shitty piece of performance art based on the Mask of the Red Death, but can you please not quote poet me? I'm serious. You thought it was shitty? Ever since we heard the news, everything I try to do takes five times the energy. I can barely get out of bed. Dude, have you thought about going to the counseling center? Do not start with that. All the counselors do is give you handouts on deep breathing. I fucking know how to breathe. Everyone always wants to know what the Abraxas goons are doing. They never want to know how the Abraxas goons are doing. We're not goons. It's okay. Goons have feelings too. Hey, maybe you could find a therapist off campus or something. Nah, suffering is part of the artist lot in life, kid. Whatever, Hemingway. Don't bring Hemingway into this. Hey. Didn't I see a therapist's business card just a few minutes ago? Except it was on the other side. No, Max. You didn't saw that one because we already have it. Yeah, leave the card here. Perfect. <laughs> hope things get better, dude. Let's hope it will be better for them. Alright, let's see if uh, Wynn is there. And what is he doing? Oh. Vin's probably back at his desk right now. He's uh, putting uh, tarot cards here. All right, snapshot. Let's go. Pick a card, any card, or whatever. Yeah, come on, do something. He don't want to. All right. Why not? Oh, a message. Amanda. All right. I promise it won't go bad. Uh, the the dish that she bring us. Oh yeah. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Fantastic. All right. Um, I guess that's everything. Oh, we have some news here. Nice. So we will update those uh, informations about all of those characters here. That's very good. All right. Let's speak with them. Fucking shit. Oh. Oh. Max. <laughs> it's just you. Huh? What can I do you for? Uh. Oh, Max. It's just you? What was that? What do you mean, it's just me? Well, <laughs> there are a few people, for instance... Who I might hesitate getting workday slosh in front of? You, Miss Caulfield, are not one of them. Thanks. I'm flattered. Join me? How many of those do you have? Ooh, just don't check the recycling. <laughs> Is this about Safi? <sighs> Safi, Safi, Safi. Everything is about Safi nowadays. This isn't about Safi, Max. This is about you and me. 
Right. Come on. Uh, illicit day drinking with your coworkers is sexy. Be sexy, Max. <laughs> Maybe not now. Don't be sexy. I think I'll pass on the sexiness. Ooh. Yes. All right, wait, so what now? Looks like this van is taking a break. And what with the other van? Yeah, where is he? Of course, I know what they're doing. My grief isn't affecting my brain. Okay. What? Those look like they should be in a file folder somewhere. Aw, poor little guy. What happened to you? Please, don't touch that. It was a gift. I... Jeez. Somebody robbed an airport lounge. Yep, okay. So we checked that. Alright, uh, let's switch to... to the world ben of living? Knows too much about what happened with Sophie's car. Time to see a man. You found it! Kudos! Max! Sorry to startle, just... That was good luck, finding it so fast. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm such an idiot, I just left it on my desk. It's been that kind of day. <laughs> yeah. Really? I don't think so. Wait, something's wrong with your phone? Did something happen to your phone while it was lost? Huh? Oh, um, no, it's fine. I just can't get it unlocked. Fuck. It's gonna lock if I get it wrong again. How is that possible? You don't remember your code? Wait. You can't remember your own code? <sighs> I am, like, extremely hungover. You're lucky I can remember who you are. You seem fine out on the quad. <sighs> I set the code to the year some old fucking magician scientist died. It slipped my mind. Magician scientist? <laughs> Abraxas shit. I must have thought it was cool at the time. I, can you just... I don't know. I'm not at my best right now. Sure. Vin is definitely hiding something. Getting into that cell phone is my best shot at finding out what. Too hungover to remember a passcode? Jeez. Good thing I know another Vin. Ask him about the passcode. Why? He just... He just said he's a magician. Scientist. Maybe it will be somewhere in the... In the library. Yeah, there's so many books here. Ah, oh, but let's see. Hey, uh, Ben? Can I ask for something kind of weird? Ooh, I don't do foot stuff. Damn. <laughs> well, there goes my Friday night. <laughs> Ben does owe me a favor. Yeah, no, 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 save it for later. I have a question. Do you know anything about a dead magician scientist? Jack Parsons, occultist rocket scientist? Oh, maybe. What about him? Nothing, really, I just... They killed him, you know. Just like JFK. Oh. What, um, year did that happen? Hey. Any more questions and I'll have to charge you. <sighs> right. Of course. 
All right. Jack Parsons. Surely this place is a book on him somewhere. For sure. Well, let's now find out where. Oh. All cold. All right. Perfect. Pretty sure Myvin said Jack Parsons was an occultist. So, history of the occult seems like a pretty safe bet. Here we go. Jack Parsons was found dead in the destroyed remains of his personal laboratory in 1952. Thanks, Mr. Parsons. Sorry about you getting blown up and all. Mm, that's perfect. So wait, we gotta check uh, this other van. Phone now. 1952. Perfect. Wait, where is he now? Oh shit. This is so freaking convenient. Are you kidding me? He just went somewhere. Amazing. Wow. Yasmin wiped out her whole schedule for this disciplinary hearing of Gwen's. Yikes. Alright. Computer? That's a lot of cancelled meetings. I wonder if it has anything to do with that disciplinary hearing of Gwen's. Well, who knows, right? I guess. Um, alright. Uh, let's grab the phone. I hope this is the right code. Ah, success! I'm sorry, Vin. I know this is a brutal misuse of powers, but... I need to know if you had anything to do with this. Food picks? Food pics, mirror selfie, mirror selfie, shirtless mirror selfie, Sophie, Sophie, Sophie. There's a lot of Sophie in here. I didn't get the impression they were close. Oh my god. Wow. That is really close. Yep. Who even were you, Safi? Yeah, you didn't know her. Oh my god. Oh, we will start to learn some new facts. I really thought I could help. Poke around a little, figure out who has it out for Safi. Bada bing, bada boom. Case solved, right? Why else would my powers come back? Stupid. Now I have more impossible questions than I had to begin with. Lucas filing a restraining order? Vin and Safi sleeping together? Gwen killing Safi's book deal? I have no idea what any of it means. And the worst part is, I can't even talk to you about any of it. I won't be able to save you. Again. Whatever I do, it's going to turn out worse than I could even imagine. Get the fuck off me! I can't breathe! Everyone stay back. Give him some space. He's having a panic attack or something. I'm not I... fucking crazy. I know what I saw up there. What was that? Uh, everybody, yeah, <laughs> everything's under control. All right, an authority figure has arrived. Sort of. Nothing to worry about. Let's give him some space. Can you run and get him some water? Uh, 
You okay, Reggie? <laughs> Am I okay? Fuck. <sighs> After what I just saw up there. Reggie, up where? <sighs> the fucking overlook. Yes, I know. I shouldn't have been up there. I'm a fucking idiot. <sighs> Why? What the hell? I'm not mad. It's okay. I'm not mad. I just want to know what you were doing up there. Remember in your seminar how you said we should take photos of things that scare us? <sighs> well, A plus for following directions then. Now, you want to tell me what you saw? I saw myself. Another me. Walking around, working on the puzzle box, the, the one that I gave you earlier. What did this other you want? I wasn't gonna fucking talk to him. I fucking ran, Max. Did you tell anyone what you saw? Did you tell... Loretta... Thank you. Can you take Reggie to the infirmary? Sure thing, Miss Caulfield. I'll see you later, yeah? Just make sure he's all right. Thanks, Max. He saw himself? What the freaking hell? What? Oh my god. Okay, something crazy is uh, happening Time to here. Go back up there. I can handle this. Yeah. He's not just going to let me by, is he? God damn it. Oh, that's a dead world. Wait. How far we can go back? Maybe there's something over here, right? Uh, okay, I think till that point there. All right. Wait, new messages? What was that? No, only here. All right. The notes about uh, notes about the van, all right? Another journal thing. Damn it! Why do we have to go through everything there? All right, that's not bad. What a crazy monster there! <laughs> like from some kind of a game, Final Fantasy maybe or something. Oh, yes. Okay. Maybe he will disappear. Better start heading up to the Overlook. Hope there's a place to cross back over on the way. Wait, wait, wait. Well, let's go back now here because something could have just popped. Oh, I cannot even. Oh yeah, God, I, we cannot walk on a on a snow, which is a little bit crazy. What's that? Wait, I remember that mug. It's the one Safi drank from during the meteor shower. This goes against everything I learned in horror movies, but I should... No one's getting that back. Oh. Uh, it's a snapshot, but how did this mug land in a tree? Wow, that's really strange. Like, really strange. Oh my god, I have no idea what is happening here, but this place uh, starts to just freak me out a little bit, uh, really. Whoa, whoa, a freaking candy. <gasps> oh my god. This looks a lot like Sophie's favorite candy. But hers is called Sour Cats, not Heart Stoppers. Oh. Any more unexplainable things the universe would like to throw at me today? Well, yeah, I think so. Just you wait. A little bit longer, right? <laughs> I mean, it's barely the beginning, I guess. I mean, no, this is like, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure how far we are oh, in this chapter. But. Be right back. Oh, shit. I have some good news. Uh, it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. Why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right oh, now? Oh, You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Well, yeah, what was that? I just heard like someone was talking. I mean, Safi, I guess, but. Better look around to see what other freaky shit is going on. What's with that tree here? Art project. The bigger the art project, 
the more of the path it blocks when it falls. Wait, this one looks actually pretty cool. <laughs> Damn it. That's it? Alright. Uh, we can switch here. Oh, okay. And that project will disappear. Magically. From here, I should be able to make it up to the overlook. Oh, oh, the project is here. Oh, like a gate. Nice. Nice. Very nice. The vibes here. Helpful. Answer the phone. Hello. Speaking. Shit. Reggie had a panic attack. I have to see the place where Sophie actually... Where she... Well... I mean, that's a little bit crazy, but I think I will have a panic attack as well. Oh. See something, say something. Right? I swear. If these owls could talk. Oh. No, it's blocked like that. Alright. Let's do it again. And we'll be able to freely walk, right? I hope. Yes. Who's that? Gwen! What is she doing here? That's a Polaroid. Let's grab it. The weirdness gets... Wow. Jesus, fuck! You've got to be kidding me. Do you think it was a student who didn't like their final grade? I doubt it. Usually those kinds tip me off with an angry, poorly written email. So, do you know who did do this? No. Crazy. Alright. Jesus. Why does it feel like Gwen's always got something wild going on? No matter what timeline I'm in. Yeah, because... That's who she is. Wild girl. <laughs> Let's speak with her. Hey, Gwen. Yeah. Why not? Thanks. I'm not sure if she's smoking, but... Careful there, Pineapple Express. Shit! Did pot get stronger since I was in school? Before I came out, I had this boss. Free thinker. Who adopted his worldview wholesale from shouty YouTubers. Yikes. And a raging transphobe to boot. The brainwashing our kids, blah blah blah. Of course. I was afraid if I said something. Said anything, he'd figure me out. But when I was alone, I could conjure the perfect soliloquy to shut him up. Make him feel as small as he made me. Mm, okay. I've been there. Isn't there, like, a special word for that? In French, right? <laughs> L'esprit de l'escalier. The wit of the staircase. I take it you're acquainted. Oh, yeah. That one's a Max Caulfield greatest hit. <laughs> Point is... I've always been able to think of something to say eventually. But what do you say about something like that? Gwen, what is this? Video proof. 
Allegedly. From Yasmin herself. Trafficking of a controlled substance on campus. Hold on. There's no way Yasmin thinks you were selling drugs. How could she not? That there is security footage of someone who looks like me dealing to students. Someone who looks like you. Whoa, wait a sec. We are having a doppelganger here. What is going on? Man, first Reggie, now Gwen. Oh my god. You should fight this. Yeah, somehow. This is such bullshit. Can't you fight it? Fight it? How? <laughs> that wasn't me, it was my evil twin. <laughs> no. No. Fuck it. They've already made up their minds. You don't mean that. Thanks for believing in me, Max, but... I'm sick of fighting to prove I deserve to be here. Lucas shouting at his son? Reggie seeing himself here in the other timeline? Is Gwen another victim of doppelganger-itis? Or is she just trying to cover her ass? If I could look at that footage, maybe I could figure it out. Gwen? What are you... What are you doing? Saying goodbye. And... Fuck you! To Caledon. To Yasmin. And to feeling powerless. No! Gotta take catharsis where you can get it. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Save the footage. What the fuck? Gwen, listen. If I can just get a look at this footage, I might be able to help. I didn't ask for your help, Max. Jesus, I didn't even ask for your company. I just wanted to get stoned and watch that thing burn. <sighs> Whatever. Do what you want. It's too cold for this shit. Gwen, wait. I need to ask you something. Why... What? Oh. Why did you kill Safi's book? Did you hear about Safi's book? Yeah, let's ask this uh, right one. Is it true they cancelled Safi's book deal? Oh, Jesus, Max. Have you ever tried not being so goddamn nosy? Wouldn't you want to know why? In my experience, some mysteries are better left that way. Okay. And this one is that kind of a mystery? No. Let's see if I can find what Reggie saw. Or thinks he saw. Wait, some message from Sophie. So we just from a stress or something. Okay. You okay? Not the weirdest thing. All right. I hope he doesn't think we're BFFs now. All right. Uh, explore the crime scene. Wait, where is it? How? Oh. oh yeah, we gotta go to the dead. Uh, Dead world. Yeah, of course. How? <laughs> I cannot check it out in the living one. Because she's, uh... She's still alive. Did something used to be here? I can't remember. There was your camera. I remember that much. But what else? Oh, Miss Caulfield, you, uh, 
Out for a stroll too? Uh Thanks for helping with Reggie before, yeah. Something like that. By the way, I appreciated your help with Reggie. Oh, that? It was the least I could do. Reggie's a sweetheart. Holy shit, what are those? You can see those? Yeah. Do you think this is what Reggie saw? Mm, I don't know. Wish I could say. Yeah, not, don't tell. Uh, yeah, I will not uh, say that he saw himself. That's not really mine to share. I, I'm not trying to... I just want to make sure he's okay. Honest. He will be. I think. I was going to come up here anyway after the suicide tip, but... Seeing Reggie like that... I don't know. Made it feel... Real. Wait. Suicide tip? One of the bee cops let it slip. You run a successful podcast for a few years and you find ways to get people to open up. Speaking of opening up... I got a lead. I could cut you in. Uh, what's the catch? One second I'm a source, and the next I'm a fellow investigator? Sounds like there's strings attached. No, it's not like that. I just... I feel like I kind of owe you after the whole Dr. Hunter thing. Maya Okada, one of Safi's classmates during undergrad. They were friends. Then... Maya died a couple years back. Suicide. Apparently. Wow. So, you think it's a pattern? You think it's a pattern? Maybe. Yeah. Two promising young writers, both dead, both by their own hand, according to official sources. But Sophie didn't kill herself. Like I said, a pattern. Maybe. Explain something to me. Why is this so important to you? Safi was my friend. Because I hate it when things don't make sense. I have to go. Moses, yes, and that definitely doesn't make sense. I mean, yeah, something is really strange here. Bloody hell. I like it. Yeah, this mystery is big. Your text. I tried calling, but you didn't pick up. It's cool, Max. Everything's cool. It's not cool, though. It is not. So what's going on? How bad is it? So what's the damage? TLDR version? Pretty sure I'm the number one suspect. What? Why? Besides that being true for most of my life? Bullshit. Come on. Well, I did... I did do something.
I took Safi's camera. I know. From the crime scene. Why? That's evidence. That's... Moses? That's evidence. Max. I know. I wasn't thinking. I just... When we found her that night, I saw the camera. And I thought the last picture she took in her life was that selfie of the three of us. And Safi would never want to have that camera, that picture, in the hands of the fucking police. So I brought it back to my office. And then I realized, what the fuck am I doing? That's evidence in a murder case. So I just hid it in there. In my office. Moses! I screwed up, Max. And now I don't know what to do. All right. Maintenance tech is on his way to... So unlock your office, Mr. Murphy. Then I'll just have a look around inside. Shit! I've got to get Sophie's camera out of there. Somehow. Unless you have a key card. Miss Caulfield. Me? And you are? Sorry, I don't think we've been introduced. Mr... That's Detective. Detective Vince Alderman with Vermont State Police. I'll be handling your friend Sophia's case from now on. I'm sorry for your loss, by the way. Uh, yes, uh, that's great, but we already spoke to police. Moses and I already spoke to police. Several times. Max, it's okay. And I'll be speaking to Mr. Murphy quite a bit more today. Miss Caulfield, I do need you to leave the area for the time being. Will you be okay? Mr. Murphy will be fine. I'll come back. Promise. No, oh boy, we got it. Okay. Now's my chance to get into Moses' office. Where's a place I can shift to the other timeline? We gotta take that camera from his office. Oh, boy. And we gotta Maybe hurry up find because. Way into Moses' office from this side. Man, somebody will come here and they will open the door, so. Hey, maybe this Moses can help me find the camera. Oh, you will have to convince him. Oh, hey, Max. <laughs> That's annoying. How do you stand it? <laughs> You'd be surprised how quickly you get used to it. I think they call that Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> uh-huh. So, what's up? Actually, I need to ask you kind of a weird question. My favorite kind. Name it. Your favorite kind, huh? Uh, hiding spots. Kind of left field, but if you were going to hide something personal in this lab, where would you put it? If this is about my dream diary, trust me, you'll never find it. I'd never bring it to campus. A what? A dream diary? <laughs> you never told me you keep a dream diary. And I never will. Pure conjecture on your part. Oh my god. And some most prized possession? What is your most prized possession? In here, at least. In here? But probably that mug. My sister made it for me as an early Christmas gift. Oh, that's sweet. Remind me not to get you any mugs for Christmas. Okay, so... Are you keeping any contraband? Okay. Name something in here you wouldn't want, say, a 
Dr. Fire defined. Like something I keep locked away? Yes, yes, exactly. That would definitely be my electric kettle. <laughs> Maintenance has no idea where I hide that fire hazard. As I live and breathe, Moses Murphy, rule breaker. Uh, rule bender, Max, rule bender. Anyway, <laughs> what's with all the questions? Oh. Moses, you need me to hold something or can I help somehow? Actually, yeah, I need an Allen wrench. On it. Um, got one around here? No, I borrowed one from Carla, but I think she took it back. If you can go grab that from her, I'll owe you. Okay. Okay, where is that? I can't go looking around for Carla. I need a faster way to get Moses a wrench. Oh. You mean like that? Maybe you will have it here, in the office. No one's been here for days. That's new. Okay. We gotta be careful, damn it. I need to get that Allen wrench, and I need to be quick. Polaroid, take it. <sighs> what? Bitch, you did not just- Relax. It was a picture of the mugs you two were drinking out of. Safi was going to help put up the ornaments. I can do it for her. Wait, we are just too close to those doors there. That's crazy. Alien wrench, perfect. Just laying like that here. Better that's insane, little bit. Come Moses. on. A rocket ship mock. Yeah, that's nice. This mule. Oh, snapshot. Hmm. It'd be better from another angle. Another angle. Let's go up. Yeah. This. This can work from here. Definitely. Whoa! What a nice iguana Better here. give this wrench to Moses. If the tea kettle was a fire hazard, I guess a heat lamp is out of the question. Oh yeah, snapshot from here. Moses and Safi. So different and yet so well suited. Whoa, patronizing the good kind. Interacted with everyone's project. Man, fantastic. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, actually, wait. Better I guess I can wrench to Moses. go through here, right? To give him the, the wrench. That he needs. Yes. What were you doing up there? <laughs> so I found this guy named Alan, but he didn't know anything about a wrench. No, Max. Not literally Alan. It's... Oh. <laughs> you are a lifesaver, Max. Dad joke aside. I'll never apologize for my dad jokes. And you're welcome. Mural goes here. What's that about? Safi's baby. She had the bright idea that we should draw the Gemini twins up there. Okay, yeah. Why haven't you? Why haven't you? You know Safi. She has like a million little projects half started everywhere. Anyway, I'm sure we'll get to it at some point. We have all the time in the world. So, did you want some tea? Um, yeah, if you don't mind. W with the contraband kettle, right? Just give me just a second. Sure. Take the key. So oh, yeah. the cabinet is a secret hiding spot. Let's hope the other Moses hid the camera in the same place. Alright, Moses, so take your time. 
Jesus. Oh, that's, that's still annoying. Stupid toy. <laughs> just turning on when you are passing. Damn it. You are just passing too close. It will turn on. So, um. Wait, what was that here? Not here. This note wasn't here in the other timeline. That can't be a coincidence. Is this where he hits off his camera? What was that? Okay, the camera might be under a safe. Where can I find this safe? Jesus. The safe. Uh... We have to speak with him again. Yeah, we uh, we need to ask him for safe. I hope uh, he will tell us that. <laughs> I don't know. Let's hope he will. Oh, will it distract you if I talk? Should be fine. What's up? Safe? Another strange question. Um... You don't have a safe in here, do you? The locking kind? No. Are there non-locking safes? Well, for a second, I thought you were asking about the star safe. S-A-I-P-H. There's a star called safe. Sure is. It's a part of the Orion constellation. What the? You've been popcorned. <laughs> Engineering wants a prank war. I'm trying not to sink to their level. <laughs> Gonna go clean this out. That was nice. Oh my god. So Moses hid the camera under a star. And of course, there are oh, stars why is everywhere. It so happy. Mm hmm. And here we had this, uh,. I mean, we are having this mural, but stars? Yeah, how can we do that? Star projector. The mural. Moses must have projected some stars to use as a guide. Moses said safe is part of Orion. Maybe Orion was projected on the wall that night. I need to set this up exactly how Moses had it when he was drawing. Oh, yeah, yeah, those... Oh, oh, oh. I think like that. That should work. Hello? What's going on? I think I got it. Fingers crossed I can find safe on that wall. Well, let's hope. Let's hope we can find something. Safi's what? Sweater. I remember her wearing this earlier that night. Oh boy. Like, where is that star? So, if this is Orion, then safe is. Boom. Good job finding safe, Max. Why, thank you, Max. Now then. Well, that's a nice safe. Come on. No, no, no! Shit, I can't let him see me in here. Wait, I can... Yeah, I can switch to that world and he's not there. I'm so close to getting Safi's camera. If I can just distract him for a few minutes, I think I can grab it. I'll need something noisy. Something noisy. Oh my god, here you are. <laughs> but wait. Good thing I can keep an eye on Alderman from here. Wouldn't want to show up right in front of him. Exactly. 
how to do this? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, let's go upstairs and yes, we can uh, enter to this other world from here. So I will put it somewhere over here, right? Like, shit, come on. There's no way to... Ah, okay, yeah. First we have to go there. To make sure all the... Here goes. What the hell? Quickly. And now I need to shift out of here fast. Time to finally get what I came here for in the first place. Go, go, go. <laughs> we just walked through him. Why the hell not? Now over here. Hey, is someone down there? Stupid telescope! Why couldn't Moses have put you together in this timeline? What's wrong with this? What the? Wait, what is she doing? Whoa! Fuck. We just built the telescope? Whoa. That's, that's new. Yes. Jesus. Yes, but now we gotta run. You know, Max? Holy shit! The telescope and all the parts switched places. Okay. Gotta run. Sorry, I I'll text you. Okay. Yo, what? Yeah, where's the telescope? <laughs> Moses. Look what I got. Miss Caulfield, can I speak with you for a minute? You should go. Please, have a seat. I just wanted you to have a chance to talk to me alone. Because Miss Llewellyn was a close friend of yours. We have a sensitive situation. We know Miss Llewellyn's camera was taken by someone closely linked to her death. Now, I'm pretty certain I know who took it and why. Maybe you've even guessed my thinking. But if we're going to make any progress on your friend's case, that's not enough. Therefore, I'm asking you if you have or come by any information about this person or where they've taken the camera, can I trust you 
to let me know. Miss Caulfield. But of course, yes, you can count on me. Sure, of course. If I notice anything, I'll let you know. I'm glad to hear it. And I'm sure Dr. Fayed would be grateful as well. Now that is my direct number. No detail is too small to share. You're, you're not bothering me. You're helping your friend's case. Thanks again for your time, Miss Caulfield. Have a good day. You too, detective. Moses, I want to show you something. We don't have to talk about it. Look. How? I'm special. Okay, let's download Safi's photos onto your computer, yeah? Or... You go ahead. I need a minute to get my thoughts in order. I'll join you soon. Okay. I picked up so many things today. Best lay it all out and see if it gets me anywhere. Oh, another photo. And that's the last one in this chapter. Perfect. Oh my god, Max. How many of these movies are there? It's a horror franchise, Sophie. They don't get good until at least the third one. The real horror is that they found a way to make three of these. Five, actually. So... Is this the one where they finally explain how he's still walking around with no head, or...? Before she died, Moses was more Sophie's friend. Here, we're all thick as thieves. Wish we'd had a chance to get to this point in our world. Puzzle box. Wait, this is another one? Whoa. Wait, this one is different. What is this? I need a bit of space to examine the clues I've gathered. Hey, can I move those pegs? Oh my god, that's amazing. Wait, what the? Why is it moving? Like, they're, they're crazy. Okay, uh, how to do that? Bloody hell. Oh, interesting. That's so freaking nice. No oh boy, I'm not sure where to do this, uh, where to put this one. I bet the coffee table has enough room for my evidence. Hey, something just happened. Wow. It sounded like a panel popped open. A disc with some symbols. Where have I seen this before? There has to be somewhere to pop this in. Place it here, yes. Well, well, well. Max Caulfield. Oh, Clever shit. Links. Wait, does the outer dial move now? How? It does. And so does the inner one. Oh, like that. Oh, my God. What? <gasps> Whoa. We did it. This means I'm in, right? I'm official Abraxas material? Uh, thinking it's out of the box. Perfect. Wow, we just solved the puzzle. Man, amazing. Mm, Alright, so we did that. Uh, we can I switch... I need a bit of space to examine the clues I've gathered. To another world. Let's do that for, I don't know, a moment. I think... Uh... Oh, wow. I guess I haven't been home in this world for a couple days. 
It's like a time capsule of the day Safi died. Weird. Well, if we were not in home for so long, then dude, my plant, my plant is dying. Oh, just look at those leaves. Jesus Christ. Yeah, water. Another trophy. Yes. Haha, <laughs> there's trip. Oh man, amazing. Um, okay. Well, somebody was drinking something here. I loved telling Safi how the lens can totally change your perception of a subject. I loved that she didn't need me to explain why that was powerful. Alright. I think we did a lot already here, so uh, let's check those evidence. Wait, I have to put them here or...? Yes. Review clues. Okay, Max. Let's see what we've got. Platypus facts. Message. Okay. Perfect. Uh, that is certainly some kind of fact. Nice. <laughs> what? Nice facts. Yeah. Very nice. I like it. Message to Loretta. Wait, wait. You dashed out in a hurry. Is Moses okay? Just peachy. Yeah. Ugh, she's got a sixth sense for bugging me at the absolute worst time. <laughs> come on. But she's worrying, so come on, right? This was meant to be a loud message. But from who? And what does it mean? Who the hell knows? Guess I understand now why Gwen was so adamant about getting her book out of the case. I still don't understand why Gwen would do this to Safi. Especially since she helped her get the book deal in the first place. Yeah, that's right. That's really strange. There's a mugshot joke to be made here, but I'm not going to be the one to make it. <laughs> Figures there'd be copies all over campus. While I do want to see this so-called incriminating footage of Gwen... It's probably best to wait till Moses leaves to check it. Yeah. I think so. I know Vin and Abraxas are entangled in everything that's happening. I just don't understand how yet. And what else? I guess that's it. I probably shouldn't leave all this out in the open. Maybe if I step away for a bit, these will all make sense later. Maybe. Hope Moses is doing alright. I should go see if he's gotten Safi's camera hooked up yet. And where is he actually? I know in the dark room, but where is that? Here? Uh, yes. Dark room. That's nice, right? Isn't that the same room that we had in the first game? Of course, that room was not ours. Now we are having our own. Moses? You okay? Is it weird that I'm low-key nervous? About seeing Safi's, you know, final pictures? Far from it. Safi was special to us. To everyone. But I meant, are you okay, okay? I've been better. Yeah, you know that I am not actually going to cooperate, right? Yeah, exactly. 
I apologize for what I said to that detective. You have to know I wasn't being serious. I was only trying to- Take the easy way? It's nice when you have that option. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Hey, look. Maybe seeing Safi again will help clear the air. Hard to believe that would be the last time we were all together. That's the truth. What a crew we were. Hey, look. She took one more photo. Sneaky girl. The murderer. What is this? Max, you... You killed her? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Of course not. What? No! Of course not! So that... That... It's Photoshop! A deep fake, maybe. I don't know. You sold me out to Alderman. You were covering for yourself. No, Moses. Please. What the fuck is going on? Man, you have to trust me. This is me you're talking about. Me. There's a lot I don't know about you. But you know I wouldn't do something like that. I could never. Stay the fuck away from me! Oh my god, this is insane! What is going on over here? Damn it, there is really a doppelganger there. And it... Not only one? I mean, what? No. Uh... Shit. Man, I have a goose bomb now. Damn it! This is insane. Ooh, what a mystery. Wow. Oh shit. I cannot wait for more. What's going on over here? Ooh, yeah. Bulletproof. Uh, who's bulletproof? I have no idea. Wow. Uh, yes, our choices. Let's go like that with them. Agree, refuse, whatever. Damn, it's insane. Seriously. That is so freaking crazy. And that's it, yes. Uh, next chapter. Yeah, I cannot wait. Wow. Um, that photo is crazy, but it's impossible that this is Photoshop. I mean, that was from the camera. The, so, yeah, from the film. How? How can you Photoshop that? You cannot. But something is really I weird there. So Especially with those doppelgangers. Do. Or, yeah. I don't know. Like, we have some kind of an alien there, maybe. And he's just... He's having some kind of a power to be anyone he want to. I don't know. I don't see any other explanation to what just happening so far. But I love it. Damn it. What a mystery. Uh, fantastic one. I can't wait for more. But now, guys, thank you so much for staying with me. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment. I will appreciate that very much. And if you want to be updated with the content I share every day, then please hit the subscribe button. I will be very grateful. And I will see you very soon in another episode from Life is Strange Double Exposure.